we know there are a lot of people out there who need a little help with rigging and flying their parasailer on their catamaran. We read about it all the time in some of the groups that we belong to. So we put together a video showing how our parasailer is rigged. We will also show you the steps in flying the parasailer and some of the challenges that come with that. Today we're going to give you guys a tour of our parasailer rigging setup. We've been asked how to set this up and honestly, we struggled with this in the beginning as well. We ended up reaching out to Martin Town of Ice Tech Paracel and he actually guided us through some of the tricks to make this rigging work correctly. So I'm starting at the front here and obviously we don't have the sail up, but I wanted to show you the rigging before we actually show you the sail. So the rigging consists of two lines. We've got this attached to a shackle and one of the lines is the sheet and one of the lines is the guy. In this example, the red line is the sheet, the blue line is the guy. So just for setup, we've attached the shackle to the lifeline just so that we can make sure that all the lines are ran correctly before we actually attach it to the sail. So you will notice the red line is basically on the outside of the boat and that will be running all the way down to some blocks through pad eyes that are a little bit behind the midship. So we'll show you that when we get down there. The other line is your guy, as we mentioned, that's the blue line. The guy goes through the block and stays on the inside of the boat to the back of the uh, blocks and through the blocks there. And again, we'll show you that when we get there. Now, we do not have fairlings on this side. This is our port side. We are planning on adding fairlings at some point. The more that we have this sail up, we want to make sure that that line stays where it is supposed to stay. So if you don't have the fair leads, then um, the guy ends up going over the hatches. And so you can't really use the hatches when that guy is under pressure. Um, but you'll see the fair leads on the other side that you can use. So now we're headed to the back of the boat. By the way, our symbol on our parasailer is from Calico Jack, evidently a pirate failure. It's not really a Jolly Roger, but we often call it that. Let's just hope we're not a pirate failure like Calico Jack. So now I'm going to show you the blocks. Very simple setup. Blocks with um, attachments to the lifeline. And you'll notice that, again, the sheet is through one of the blocks. The guy is through one of the other blocks. And these go up to blocks that have been added to the top. We had a single block here initially, and which may have been there for, I don't know, for what, whatever different sale they were going to use with it but we doubled up on the blocks so that we could put both the guy and the sheet through the block. And those go straight off to the helm. At the helm, they terminate in two clutches that we have added specifically for the parasailer as well. And those will show you when we get inside the helm. So this is the starboard side of the boat. Same setup, the blue line is the guy. Over here, we have the green line, which is the sheet. And these are basically the same as on the port side. Now, we do have fair leads over here that we use for the Genoa. However, um, we haven't run that through. On the starboard side, you see the setup is the same here. We've got two blocks attached to the pad eye that are held up 
by the strings. And these actually go up through the helm station in different configuration. Because we don't have blocks on the roof, these go through clutch blocks. And we'll show you a close up of those inside and how they work. These are the starboard side clutch blocks. Obviously we wanted all lines to terminate in the helm. So these, how these work, if you haven't seen these before, is when they're open, the lines are loose, but when you clutch them with that, the pressure from the line will hold that tight for you. And then of course, we're able to use the winch as we need to, to move the parasailer back and forth. Now on the port side, we have a different configuration because we had more block space available. The guy comes through block and the sheet comes through a block and they terminate in actual clutches. And again, have access to a winch so that if needed, if the winds pick up and we need the winch to actually haul in the sail, we can do that. The only other thing we didn't mention is that we do use a barber hauler. So once we get, you know, about 140 degrees, 130 degrees up more towards beam, um, then we'll always add the barber hauler on the side of midship. We used a soft shackle for that, and we'll show you that once we're sailing. So we mentioned the barber hauler and a couple other items that we use when we're sailing it. These are, of course, your normal blocks that go up on the bow and you run your uh, guy lines back from there uh, all the way to what we showed you earlier. And then the more you come off of uh, full astern on the wind, you end up with a sheet that's that's really way outside of the boat. So we'll take a soft shackle. We'll shackle this amidship to a cleat. Uh, this is our block and tackle, another block here. And then this is where we will put the sheet in on an opening uh, block right there. So you can easily get that done. Put the sheet in there, snap it closed, and then you can haul it in. That makes a big difference in the shape of the sail as well. Likewise, you can do the same thing when you're off of the bow and you need to pull a violin. So this is called the violin, and this actually goes around the roller furling. So you have that around the roller furling, and same thing here, you've got this block to be able uh, to put the sheet in there and then hold it close to the boat as well. We'll demonstrate this as well, so stay tuned. Now the fun part, flying it. Steven is uh, attaching the spinnaker line to the parasailer so that he can, well, I'll go back to the helm and raise it. I got the wind on this side of the boat. So I know everything needs to be on this side of the roller furling, including the sail. 
and the spinnaker halyard. Go ahead and go up, Dom. Lock her on autopilot downwind and go ahead and raise the rest of the sail. Gary Bear. A little more. Okay, you can come forward and help me. This has to go in with me. There's the bridge. Let's take it back. Take it back in the boat. Yep, that's good. Okay. Now we'll hook up both sides. Your side is going to come around. Your side is going to come around here. Drop that. Go, go get the feet in the boom. Drop that. Take that outside the boat. Yep. Lean around the furler. Probably the park. All right. Go ahead, I'll pull it for you. Okay. You ready at the helm? Okay, so you're going to be in control of the sheets and the, so right now, clutch them all down. And it should be enough to get it up. And then we can adjust them once we get it up, okay? There's not a lot of wind, so go ahead and go to neutral. You come help me. Top deck.
you have to pull this to where it goes up. See the, the green and the red up there? It needs to go around all of that. There you go. Perfect. You got it. It's good. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. So see how where I have it right here? Yeah. That's kind of the way you want it as best you can, okay? okay. All right. Like at that elevation. You just yeah. You gotta pull it, pull it back for you, like that. So you want that big triangle right there as you let it go up. You gotta let it go up. I can't pull it if you don't let it go. Oh, those things. See, now you gotta pull those. There you go. Yeah. So pull it. As you can see, you gotta pull it back towards the back of the boat in order to get it around all those. There you go. See. Now you see how it works. We're going on up. Hey, you gotta do a one and two, my guy. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's all right. So, anyhow, Dawn's gonna set a little bit of hers. Doesn't have quite enough air to send the wing through, but it will. Yeah. All right, let me have that. You did your job right. Good job. Parasail flying successfully. No. We made another mistake earlier on the parasail. So you notice that the red sheet is on the green side of the parasail, and that's wrong. <laughs> because we ran the lines wrong. Red's supposed to be on port. Green is supposed to be on starboard. So that was my fault. I ran the lines. I just didn't do it right. So works this way, but it went up backwards first. I guess it's all just a learning process. By the time we perfect our skills at this, we'll probably be moving on to something else. Who knows? Amazing day. Just amazing. So we've only got about six knots of wind, which is awesome that we can fly this thing and no wind as long as you're going you know, downwind. Although this is on beam, we got beam reach on wind. So this is really helpful to be able to fly it on beam. Captain looks pretty happy up there. And we actually started beer thoroughly. Started at four, didn't wait till five. So here's the performance of our parasailer today. There she is, all the way up. Now she is close to a beam, which we've never flown it close to a beam before, but. It's going to be real nice to be able to get, we're getting about five knots speed over ground. And that is with a seven knot wind. We only have a couple hours sail today, but sure it's nice to be able to do it with this parasail because on a light wind we would not have been successful at all with our Jenny and our mainsail. So this is going to be just perfect. And last but not least, a couple of our favorite pics of our parasail are flying. Don't forget to follow our channel, subscribe to our channel, 
click to get the alerts, all those things that we love it if you do. And leave us a comment if you have a question.